Hello my friends, welcome back to another video. I don't know about you guys, but almost every gun BSG forces me to use for completing quests, I end up never touching again once I complete them. Punisher Part 3 is one of them. Nikita wants us to take out 25 scavs in customs with an AKS 74U rifle, which is a gun obtained from Prapper Level 1. And with the recent recall changes, this thing absolutely slaps. Even though this is not a popular choice among the player base, I recommend leaving the Meta M4 behind for a raid and give this a try. Also, let me know in the comments when is the last time you voluntarily used an AKS 74U or one of its many variants. Hope you enjoy the build and have an awesome day, my friends. To kick things off, obviously you need an AKS 74U, which you can get from Prepper Level 1 once you complete the very first quest from him, which is Debut. It costs you 24,600 rubles just to buy it, which is pretty cheap if you compare it to all the other guns out there. To build it, we're going to go to the presets. The very first thing we're going to change is the pistol grip. My go-to is the AGS 74, as you know. For the stock, we're going to add the PT lock, which allows us to add the Zeni PT3 stock to the gun. And since you cannot change the dust cover on the AK, you're going to have to add the XRSU tactical handguard to it. It comes with the rails for both the tactical devices and the handguards, as you can see. And then you can add the sight at the back here. This is once again, personal preference. My go-to is the XPS 30. For more ergo, you can add the charging handle as well. Either one works very well. Obviously, the better one is the CSS. Next up, we're going to change is the muzzle device, which there's really only one option for the best recall, which is the RRD4C. And that's the one I'm going to be using today. And for the foregrip, fortunately, as you can see, we have 80 ergonomics on this one, which means it doesn't really suffer from the RK2's ergonomics debuff, which is minus eight on many other builds it would be a deal breaker for me but for this one i do not really care i highly recommend also going for the 60 rounder it does eat up your ergonomics a little bit but mag dumping with a 60 rounder just feels a lot better on this gun but obviously once again personal preference for me it's uh, almost a must-have on this build and then tactical device once again personal preference as usual i'm gonna go with the x400 and that's the build completed it costs you around 220,000 rubles it feels a little bit pricey but i would say it's totally worth it i would highly recommend you give it a go at least once if you don't like it at least you'll know if you like it you found a new cool gun that you can use to mess around at the end of the wipe or maybe for the next wipe and whatever I'm going to drop you into another raid. If you wouldn't mind, drop a like, subscribe if you haven't, turn on notifications, and I hope you enjoy the raids. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Ooh, we got the goons here. That is interesting. Don't think this is the play here, but I'm going to do it anyway. There's voice lining over here. Where are you, my friends? That must have been one of them. Bro was clueless too. <laughs> I don't mind. And they were definitely fighting someone. There's a player on this side now. Man, I was tanking a little bit. Holy shit. <laughs> this is gonna be so awkward. Yo, papi. Say hello to my little friend. What was he thinking? If these were in a team, then... I don't know what that guy was hoping was gonna happen.
eat the BP, I, I guess. Got some extra nades, I like that. I think I'm gonna switch the armors, actually. My dude is scooping up my loot. I have some grenades. Thank you, thank you. I don't think I can jump this anymore though. I can't tell them apart by voices. I think... I think that's night, but I, I don't know. Smoke grenade there. Maybe in trouble here, actually. There's no way I killed him with it, right? Where is there? I should not be pushing this at all. Oh, there's one of them. This is night. I'm guessing this was big pipe there. That leaves bird eye. That might be bird eye right there. Oh, this is bird eye. That looks like a PMC. That looks like a PMC. We should have some grenades. Can I have some grenades, please? Berta has no nades. He has to be around here somewhere.
Oh. There he is. I did not notice that at all. Whoever's there might scoop up my bag, actually, so let's go see what they're doing. Like my bag just got stolen. <sighs> Gotta get it back. No way I heard AI this whole time, bro. What? I do not believe it for a second. What do we do here? This here, put this here. Equip this. I think I just leave it like that. Take the battery, eat the herring. And bounce. Imagine getting tossed after all that. That would be depressing. dog doing I don't want to drop the mags because I feel like they're going to be worth more if I eventually use them there's not much I can drop here, I guess. Yeah, I think we just leave. We are just gonna go home.
stabbed. I got so lost there, not gonna lie. I was just confused about what I heard and from where. Goodbye, Scav. You tried your best, but you did not succeed, my friends. There's a one in there as well. Where's all the scab players coming from? For some reason I didn't get any XP looting him. A bit odd. Maybe he'll have a uh, lapse card for me or something. Or a thousand rubles. I'll take that as well. Empty mag, get some of these, and go on our merry way, I suppose. I'm I'm basically at my extract now, so pop a morphine and go home. Let's get out of here. That was a fun raid. I feel like goons are just turned way down, but I don't mind to be honest. Twenty-eight thousand five hundred XP from one raid in customs. That's kind of unheard of, to be honest. <laughs> 